Hello, my name is Aaron. I am a recipient of stem cells and I felt like I really needed to make this video because throughout all my research leading up to the injection, I had not found a single review from an average Joe like myself, someone who is unbiased and not tied to any institution that could benefit from a positive or negative review, which I think would be very important to have. Uh, given that we have a lot of reviews on glue and other you know, kind of irrelevant things, but not on a supposedly revolutionary medication like stem cells. So here we go. The type of cells I received were uh, mesenchymal umbilical cord cells. They called them Wharton's jelly. And the reason I was seeking them out was because I had a right hip labral tear. So if this is the femur, femur and this is the head of the bone with the cartilage that fits into the socket it's supposed to just mushroom over and then go into your bone but i had what's called a cam defect so i had an extra thickening in this area or like an extra bony prominence and it was rubbing on the ring of cartilage being the labrum and uh, it weakens it over time and predisposes you predisposes you to tears so I really wanted to avoid another surgery because it can take uh, six months or even a year to heal. And even then it's like, it's, it's never the same. So I was seeking out stem cells and probably the most important finding that I found was that no one actually saw improvement on imaging for this type of injury. It was only symptom improvement. So they had less pain or it was less frequent. Um, they could live a higher quality of life and go about their daily activities, but um, again, no actual imaging improvement, which tells me as someone who is not a doctor that it was probably just a reduction in their inflammation rather than a legitimate cure for the issue. So after doing this research, I figured hey, there, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of downside to receiving these injections and I have the means, so let's just go for it and try, try to avoid surgery. So I started Googling places um, and I found R3 stem cells, which is like a broker and they, they refer you to, to practitioners who can give you the injections. And they referred me to this place called Fountain of Youth. Uh, it was a cosmetic, uh, cosmetic clinic in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's pretty sketchy. If I had to do this again, I would not be going there. I uh, just went there because it was a discounted price of three thousand for the injection for the injection, as opposed to about five thousand, which was the norm that I found in Texas. And for some reason, there's a lot of um, opportunity to get these injections in Texas and Florida. I don't know what the reason for that is, but it, sa it saved me a flight because I'm in Kentucky and it was cheaper this way. So I went to Fountain of Youth in Nashville. So I get to the clinic, um, she wipes me off, she withdraws the medication and ejects them in me. But one of the problems I noticed was there was a few minutes that elapsed between the point she withdrew them from the vial and from the point she actually injected me with them, which is a problem because one of the biggest hurdles in the field is maintaining the cell viability from, uh, during that time. So if you can minimize the time where you take them out of the vial and inject them in, that's great. But I was counting the seconds in my head and even a few minutes that can be too long sometimes. So um, I, you know, I'm not a scientist or a doctor. I don't know what to think about two to three minutes, but um, you know, that's just a piece of information. I feel like you should know as someone looking at this review. So I got done at the clinic and uh, I had this cringy feeling in my hip from where the needle went in. And I figured that's just normal. And she told me that I need to lay off my head for about three months at least, excuse me, and don't run at all or do anything too impactful because you really got to give that time or area time to heal. And you'll start to see the effects after three months and by six months, you should have the full effects of the injection. That's what they told me. Well, as the weeks go by, I was under the impression I was going to feel a little better. And unfortunately, I didn't. And even at the three month mark, uh, I didn't feel any improvement. But I've, you know, I, I gave it at least six months, which is almost to the day, six months right now, um, to evaluate the improvement. And I still haven't seen any from the stem cells, unfortunately. I know that's but not what you guys want to hear, but, you know, that's what happened in my case. Throughout my research online, I had expected to feel a bit better in a week or two because of all the reduction in inflammation, but unfortunately that wasn't really the case. Um, but 
what did really help for me help me was uh, physical therapy that's helped tremendously it's it's still not perfect it's torn cartilage on my hip but we, I'm significantly better than what it was uh, six months ago. So unfortunately, they were ineffective for me, but there are many factors that go in that influence the efficacy of the injection, such as the amount of cells you receive. Mine, I believe I got 10 million. I do air quotes because a lot of them die by the time they actually get to you. But the, the number of cells you receive, the exact location where they were ejected into the joint space or tissue, Mine was straight into the labrum. I guess you can inject them other areas in the joint spacing as well. But also the area which they're drawn from, the umbilical cord, can affect the efficacy as well. So some factors are out of your control, but in my specific case, they were, they were ineffective for me. So I, I think I just mentioned this a second ago, but what was really effective was physical therapy um, and Initially, the PT was not effective because I was doing it wrong. I was just working out the big muscles, like like trying to squat. It's like I couldn't squat all the way down, but to a comfortable degree. I would try to squat, strengthen up my glutes and uh, muscles in that area. But then I went to a legitimate PT and not just YouTube videos, and uh, he had me do a lot of core stabilization work which uh, you can probably just YouTube that for yourself. I can't give you an example of those exercises right now. But find you a PT that works with core stabilization, and that helped tremendously. I'm not saying that'll help for everyone, but in my particular case, um, that's what had dr pretty dramatic impacts in just one or two weeks. We'll say I have found one video review of the stem cells. However, it's from a guy named Will Will, W-I-L-L, -L, Will Grant on YouTube, but he also had extensive surgeries done, and I don't know, he gave himself like nine months or a year to recover after the surgeries and stem cells, so was it really the stem cells that helped him or the surgery and the extensive PT he went through? Um, I don't know, you can watch his video and make up your mind, but I Watching his video, I was just not convinced that his positive results were from the stem cells. I think it's more likely that they were from the surgeries and then all the PT he was doing. If you do decide to push forward with the injections and get them anyway, uh, that's cool. Maybe they'll work for you and I hope they do. But just do your research about the people giving them to you um, before you go because there's a lot of scams out there. Um, there's a lot of money in chronic pain. They know people will pay exorbitant amount of monies to relieve themselves of pain and get back to their normal lives. So just be very cognizant of that. Um, there's a lot of shady characters out there. So I hope this video has helped at least one of you guys uh, make the decision whether to or to not uh, receive the stem cells or at the, at the least take precaution when doing your research and selecting a provider. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you guys. Um, hope this helps. Bye-bye.